is usually used to keep people out, but this chain link mosque is enticing people in. And not just that, it's sparking conversation amongst local Vancouverites. The art installation named Paradise Has Many Gates is part of the city's fourth Biennale, an exhibition aimed at using art to comment on the prevailing issues of our time. And when it comes to a fenced-in mosque, there's one issue that springs to mind. Uh, it's about the situation that we are, we are living now in terms of uh, refugees, in terms of uh, prisons, in terms of, you know, I need them to, to start the dialogue, to create a space of knowledge around the work. I need them to chat to each other. Just south of the border and President Trump's travel ban has now been signed into government with a new law targeting mostly Muslim countries. And while the Saudi Arabian artists insist that it's about more than just U.S. immigration policy, for tourists and locals alike, the similarities are striking. It's very industrial. I don't know. It looks like a jail. <laughs> I think it has to do with... Uh... Possibly imprisonment and, and uh, of religious minorities. A uh, detention centre. You, what do you think? The, a detention centre. Why is that? Sorry, I'm Australian. That's all right. I can't understand. What's that? Why is that? Um, I guess the combination of the uh, the carpet and the lights and you know the the wire, obviously. It, it right away it brings to mind uh, the situation on the U.S. south border of children being locked up because they're different. And um, also it's asking the question, is your religion locking you inside a thought? It just it brings a huge amount of questions. The artwork is one of many around the city and will be in place for the next two years. And while its installation comes at a time of great political discourse in the U.S., Organisers of the event hope it can also make us question our own approaches to multiculturalism here at home. This really is a statement about Canada. It's a statement about are we a nation that can really engage and accept multiculturalism? Can we really accept differences? Are we really truly what we think we are? So this is, it's the elephant in the, in the room. You can't pretend it isn't here anymore. In Vancouver, Tom Walsh, City News.